Hey, I'm back. For your second side event, I want to teach you some things about ATVs. Right, let's get into it. Pass time until the next event in the calendar. Okay, I'll explain the ATV and obstacle course to you. The ATV is more agile than the UTV because of its size, but that also means you give up ground clearance. So make sure you don't get stuck on protruding rocks. Your tires also influence how your vehicle reacts on the terrain. Tires can be all-rounders or specialized for ground, like drive toward the marked area. In the meantime, we'll change your tires to give you an idea of how different they feel. Obstacle courses are mostly made out of synthetic obstacles. Each driver tries to complete the course in the shortest time. But there are some rules. First, drive to the marked area while avoiding the cones. Hitting a cone will result in a time penalty. Some areas are marked by flags. Not entering or exiting those areas can result in major time penalties. Experiment with your four-wheel drive and differential lock. Seesaws are very easy if you understand how they work. You drive up the seesaw until it tips over. Then hold your brakes until it has completely tipped over. If the seesaw touches the ground with the other end, you're allowed to leave. If you drive off earlier, you will receive a penalty. Great. I think you're ready. Okay, let's figure out how we can invest the rewards we just earned. Go to the R&D department. Welcome to our R&D department. This area is divided into two areas. There is the team experience area, where you can spend the skill points you've earned, and there is Vehicle Development, where you can invest currency you have earned to find new options for changing your vehicles. Let's go to Team Experience for Here, you can invest your skill points in the R&D tree. These points are earned by leveling up. You earn three points each level. You can find more info on the selected option in the top right. You can only acquire dark-colored skills. Try to spend a point for a new skill. As you can see, the connected skills around the one you just acquired are now dark colored. Light colored ones are skills you already own. Great. You can look around a bit more here, or go back to the previous menu and enter the vehicle development area. Within the vehicle development area, you can find new vehicle parts and improve existing parts. The upper section is for research. Here your staff will research new tires, suspension setups and vehicles. The bottom section is for upgrades. In the upgrade section, your mechanics can upgrade the engines, cages and transmissions for your vehicles. Select a researcher and then pick what you want them to research. Good. You can 
This is the number of days left until the research is finished. This will also be marked on your calendar. Similar to the research section, you can pick an upgrade for your vehicle. Now we just wait for the professionals to finish their task. You are now free to do whatever you want. I'll only bother you again when the next event starts. Hey, I'm back. I'm here to teach you about the final vehicle class, the Rock. As well as your tires, there are also different suspension setups. The way your suspension acts and how high you are above the ground has a big effect on your driving style. Drive to the marked area. We'll give you some different sets of suspensions to try. Nice! Did you feel how easy that was? Try to follow this path on an angled slope. Just like on your UTV, you can use the differential to get over obstacles more easily. Drive up this hill. It has some obstacles on the hill climb walls that will make it more difficult. Excellent! We'll now test your vertical skills in a hill climb race. I'll explain how it works. It's actually very simple. Just like the obstacle course, you need to set the best time. Your challenges will mostly involve natural obstacles placed in a vertical f Try to reach the finish line. Five, four, three, two, one, go! How's the racing going? I see you've collected some currency. It might be a good idea to do some scouting for some new team members. Go to the staff department and open the scouting window. At the top, you have three scouts. You can give each scout a new task to find potential employees. Enter what you're looking for, and the scout will offer you a price. If you accept the price, the scout will set out to find someone for the job. And now we wait. When they return, we'll see who they found. You're now free to do whatever you want. Okay, it's the big day. 
Today is the first Sunday of the month. That means it's competition day. You'll be racing for points. You can enter the competition in the same way as... These main events are very simple. You'll have to participate in three categories. ATVs, UTVs, and rock bounces, but with your own vehicles. When you finish the race, you'll receive points based on your finishing place. These points will be added to the standings of this event. Based on the standings at the end of the event, at the end of the season, the team with the most points wins. If you win in Division 2, you'll be promoted to Division 1. In Division 1, you can compete for the trophy, but you can also get relegated if you end in the last two spots. Choose which race to start with. Here, you have the option to pick a vehicle or in the world of off-road racing, pick suitable wheels and suspensions for the terrain and type of race. Five. Four, three, two, one, go!